Hi everyone. Well, today's little video is about landscaping. This was my very first venture into the sewing, um, traveling and teaching world. I had no idea when I made this first sample that it was going to lead to a 20 plus year journey of traveling, teaching, and now doing virtual classes. So I, I have a whole lot of samples I wanna show you. And I'm gonna start with my very first one. This is called, this one I did using just sewing machine stitches. There's no embroidery on here whatsoever. And you may notice that there is a sheer uh, fabric over top of everything. And that is a piece of cotton organza. And then uh, the work was done over top of it. So you're gonna find a lot of interesting things on this. And this one was called landscape art with faff and that was the machine i used to make it on all right so i'm going to put this one down and then i'm going to show you some other ones now up until i say these are all just decorative stitches this one was called create a cottage garden and it has the same sheer fabric over it and again this one was just decorative stitches so we'll proceed and then um now i'm going to show you one that was um i painted the background and this is called Wistful Wisteria. And instead of having to do applique pieces and things like that, this one was just a piece of printed uh, fabric and, that I had painted originally. And then I used a lot of decorative stitch work and the little um, Wisteria is actually done with bobbin work. And I have a little book called Bobbin Crazy that teaches you how to work from the wrong side. So we'll set that one down. And then this one goes back to using the um, sheer fabric over the top, but this one is uh, called, um, I don't remember what this one's called, but <laughs> by, the shore. by the shore, I thank you. I had needed some help on that one. Uh, but this one is again, all done with decorative stitch work. So we'll keep going. And then this one is, this one is a later one. And this one uses um, my newer methods. And this is decorative stitch work. There's no embroidery on it at all. Um, and uh, it is just applique techniques and things like that um, that I cover. And this one is a pattern called Mountain Meadow. So we'll put that one on. Okay, so now, after those, I began to do books. And this one is called Oriental Reflections. And it is, it has actually 12 different scenes in it. And all the little motifs in it, I painted and I put them on the CD-ROM in PDF format so they would fit the individual patterns. And then I also put them in there on in high-res JPEG so that you could make them large and small. And so I'm going to um, pass that on, but I wanna show you. Now this, you don't have to always do a landscape. Um, what I wanted to show you is that you can do a, um, you can do a, sorry, I'm getting direction from behind the camera. <laughs> um, but you, this one was done on a piece of silk linen and it was done to showcase the embroidery designs on this CD. And so I believe there's the wisteria right there. And so I'll put that right there because I think you can see both the wisteria and you can see and you can see the um, uh, pattern where it comes from. And so, see these designs here, and I'll turn this around, were digitized. I sent this, I sewed this out in a sewing machine format, I sent it to a digitizer, and they digitized on top of my work. And I'm gonna turn this around and show you some more. There's a wisteria tree. No, no, that's a weeping willow, will, weeping willow tree. And that one's right here. And this one looks, you will never find embroidery designs that look so realistic as, as from, except from me, because they are de detailed and delicate and beautiful. And they look like what you see when you look outside. So uh, this one, I used some of the motifs, which is this right here from the uh, Oriental Reflections. And then let's turn this around here. And this also comes from the Oriental Reflections book. So there's, there's lots more than just embroidery designs in these patterns and books. There's a lot of, and we're gonna pass that one off. 
Um, and so then there's another one that's called um, Shrubs and Flowers. And so this one has, these are smaller. This one has 20 different embroidery designs in it. And again, they're all very, very realistic and lifelike. Now I'm going to, uh, I would like to grab the um, landscape art vest and show that it's on the bottom, hun. It's on the bottom right there. And, uh, it, and I wanna show you something. It's okay. This is just, you know, uh, real life. <laughs> We're just people. We're not professionals. So I want to show you something. Um, this right here is, this is the very first wisteria tree that I made. And um, I took stitches apart and I put them back together in the sewing machine. And then I used variegated thread. And I'm not quite sure if you can see that or not. But that is where the very first wisteria came from. And then I turned it into this. So this is very uh, um, light and airy. And this is a little bit heavier, but it's an absolutely beautiful design. But it, it actually has the same look as this. So, okay, I'm going to pass that on again. <laughs> And um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, drop my sample, my little um, piece, my little books and things like that, just so that I can put, put, get them out of the way. Then I have to show you, I'd like to show you, this one is called Secluded Serenity. And this one also has 12 scenes in it. And it has um, four, 20 different embroidery designs in it that are, all of my stuff is totally different nobody has the same things that i do and in all my different products you won't find duplications of the different designs so it's a great way to get all kinds of different things now in this one um, you're going i'm going to show you a couple different samples here um, you're going to get more like more i won't say Thomas Kincaid-ish, I suppose. And this one has a little cottage and that is on the CD-ROM for you to be able to print. And then uh, in here, I've used, um, I'll pass that on, a lot of the different designs from the two CDs that I just showed you. And this one is a little covered bridge. And so all of these scenes are this size, I would say about 13 by uh, 17 something like that and then of course it'll get a little bit bigger with the borders and things that you add to it but they're beautiful and you can make these um, different size too. the little motifs as I told you before now here is the same pretty much you no know, this is a grit uh, this is a grist mill and so uh, and this is put onto a vest and so we'll put um, I don't know can you see have you been able to see all of that all right and so I'm going to go ahead and, and pass that sample off. Now, um, just a moment. Set that down. All right, the next one I want to show you is, oh, and this one still is from the same book. This is from Secluded Serenity. And you'll know, is, notice the little arbor. Pergola, I suppose, is the exact terminology. And then I'm going to show you one more. Now, this one is the one I thought I had up there earlier. This is the grist mill in the same kind of um, format, like the, about the 13 by 17. Uh, but you notice I put it on a vest just a little bit ago. And so you can see how you can use these different ways. All right. And then this is a huge undertaking. This is not something I would say start for your first project. And so I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to kind of disappear for a moment here. <laughs> so, um, and I'm hoping, let's see, that um, my dear cameraman husband can, can get a good look at this. Um, but this was a combination of all 12 scenes. And so it's quite a large, uh, uh, like I said, a quite a large undertaking, but it does have some beautiful work on it. All right. So I'm going to peek and see. All right. There we go. And so then I'm going to show you my winter solstice. And um, I love texture. And if you can see the tree, of course, it has no leaves on it because it's winter. But I teach you in the book, and this is winter solstice. Let me go ahead and show that to you. This is what winter solstice looks like. And this one has seven different scenes and all the little all the little, um, now this one doesn't have any, but then we'll show see someone here. 
but I want to finish. Let me finish talking to you about the tree. This was done where the embroidery machine couches the tree that you put in lots of um, nubby threads and yarns and things like that. And then machine will automatically couch it down for you. And you'll, you're going to see a whole lot of different uh, types of textural uses in this one. And I'm going to pass that one off. Here's another one. And this is from the same book, Winter Solstice. You know, I was born in the desert of Arizona. And so I absolutely love the winter. Although this last winter was a little bit challenging. And I'm hoping that we're done with snow now. I think so. But uh, this one and all these little cottages, again, can be used just as the size they are. Or they can be made smaller or bigger to, uh, so that you can accommodate them to do your own type of work. All right, so we'll pass that one off. And I've got one more, a couple more from winter. This one has an awful lot of texture in it. And I've used um, sewed uh, rocks and um, batting and things like that. And to make it look like a rushing spring. And so I'll put that one again. And now I've got the big one. So I'm going to hold this one up. And considering that I'm vertically challenged, uh, <laughs> this could be a challenge for you to be able to see them all. But um, anyway, I'm hoping, uh, let me see, I'm going to go ahead and pull, fold this in half like this and then bring it up like this so maybe you can see a little bit more. So, uh, but it's got some beautiful work done on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and just pass that one off. And I dropped one, so I'm going to reach down and pick that up. Okay, so then, now I love kitty cats, but unfortunately I am allergic to them, so I cannot have kitty cats, but I like to uh, enjoy them, using them in landscape scenes and things like that. So this one's called Kittens in My Garden, and that one has seven scenes, and I'll just show you a couple of them. And so this is one of them, and the little kittens are sitting there, down in the corner by the by the chairs and so and it's just a lovely uh, scene so i'll pass that one off and then one more and this one i believe is on the cover of the book and you're going to find your little kitten hiding underneath the um the quilt that's being aired out on the line and then there's another kitten over here playing with a little ladybug or something like that and another one on the fence so we'll pass that one on off okay so that one is kittens in my garden. Now this one is a book called Pocket Panache and I did it so that you could take a pocket off of a denim shirt and replace it with something really pretty and in order all of these scenes and let me go ahead and just hold up the sample and all of these scenes are painted backgrounds and they have embroideries that are digitized to match the individual scenes and so I am going to um, talk to you a little bit more about that. So each one of these scenes has been put onto a piece of printer fabric. All right. And so, um, That's good. okay, so we'll pass that one off. And then um, we use 100% cotton printer fabric. I know you really can't see that this is a sheet, but, but over here on the edge, there's threads. So this is a piece of printer fabric. It's 100% cotton printer fabric, and we sell this. And what you do is you put that sheet into your printer, and you select either the large size or the small size. The small size is the pocket that you could replace on a denim shirt. Um, and the large size is the one that makes about an eight and a half by 11 uh, picture for you. And so all the embroideries and everything are in here. So we'll go ahead and put that one down. Now I love, my grandpa lived in California. So we went to San Diego, Arizona, San Diego, California from Arizona to the ocean often. And this one has uh, six different scenes and then 150 embroidery designs in it. And I'm going to show you a couple here. And as I told you before, I like texture. And so you're going to notice that the um, that you're going to you're going to notice that the coral in the middle is three dimensional, and that is sewn on water soluble stabilizer. And then you wash it out and dry it, and then the machine will attach it down for you. There's also tufts of Angelina fiber right here. And um, then this is another piece that has yarns and it was sewn on water soluble. But um, I liked on this one, I used the, um, an organdy or an organza 
to, uh, I did a little bit of work on the background and then I used, I put the organza on and then I did some more stitching. So it almost looks like you can see through the water. All right, we'll pass that one off and I've got one more of the, that one to show you. Now this little guy here, this is a little jellyfish. And I use that same kind of idea. First of all, um, let me find one. Okay, you may or may not be able to see it right here, but this, there's a little seal underneath. It's on the background. And then I put the shear over the top and then I put another seal on top of this. And that gave you that dimensional look. It's like you're looking through water. And this little jellyfish, I first put his little innards <laughs> down and then I laid a piece of shear over top and then I did the rest of the design. And then I fringed out a piece of, um, of fabric to make it look like his tentacles. So there's lots and lots of detail and lots and lots of texture in this particular uh, product that called Undersea Fantasy. All right, now we've got another one and this one is called Tropical Breezes and I've got a couple of samples to show you from this one. There's 150 embroidery designs in this one and six different scenes and this sample, I'm going to kind of show, it's a, it's a bigger quilt, but it's got three of the scenes um, put, in, put into one wall hanging. And so I'm going to, well, I want to show you this one. This is a piece of dimensional work that, it's a, it's a hammock. And for a long time, we had a little guy that would be laying in the hammock, but somewhere along the line, he looked, he got lost. But it's done on water-soluble stabilizer, and you do the embroidery, and then you wash it out, and you make it part of your scene. All right, and then I'm going to show you this one. And this one is another one of the different scenes in there. Remember, there are six in this particular book. And then I'm going to fold it down and get you the last one so you can see it. And so there you go. So all of these beautiful um, embroidery designs are available in there. And I was inspired to do this when I went down to teach in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. I saw so many beautiful things and I, it inspired me to create uh, tropical breezes. All right, so then here, oops, here's another one. <laughs> this is called, um, this is a, from the same book, but it's just a tote bag. I like to try to show you that you don't always have to have everything on a wall hanging. You can use it in all kinds of ways. And so this one, I used little dimensional flowers. I tore uh, silk flowers apart and used, let the machine embroider them down for me. So we'll pass that on. Now I'm gonna show you some more garments. This is a little CD-ROM that has 118 embroidery designs in it. And you can see that I created a little sweatshirt jacket and used the designs all around the bottom. And then I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the bottom of this one. So it's just a fun way that you can use your embroideries to give a landscape look and you just, people just uh, love them and they can't hardly believe that you can do this, <laughs> but you can. So it is not hard and that's what people forget is that it isn't hard. It looks hard, but you're, you're gonna just mystify your friends. <laughs> Here is a pillow that I did using this CD. This is called uh, Tahitian dreams and so this one has flamingos and I have to tell you what happened I did finish tropical breezes and the first time I showed it people asked well don't you have some flamingos in there and it's like oh no I don't have flamingos I have rosate spoonbills which are from down in Florida but I didn't have any uh, flamingos so I did uh, Tahitian dreams and this is a wonderful addition to the tropical breezes and um, I did the pillow and just wanted to show you that you can do it and I'll show you the back of the CD too so that you maybe can see uh, quite a few there's some beautiful beautiful embroideries in that all right so now we're almost done I have one here and this is a, a little series that I did called tranquil pathways and um, is this okay okay um, and then 
what I wanted to show you is that it comes like this and there's embroidery designs and patterns and everything in there. And there are things in here you're not, you're not going to find this in any other product. So here is a, a type of a wisteria tree, but it's not actually a wisteria. It's not the same one. All of these are different designs and you can see the corded uh, border. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one off. Then I'm going to show you, I have three in this series. I originally planned to do 12. Well, you know, sometimes things happen and you just don't get around to it. And so uh, this one is called Misty Harbor and I'll show you the uh, packet for that. So this is, this is Misty Harbor and it, you can, there's just beautiful embroideries and they aren't the same as any of the other things that I have put out. And so I just think that's neat because you're adding to your design repertoire. You see, um, when you, when you look for uh, landscape designs out there, they're going to be big and bulky and these are small and delicate and you can add them to all kinds of things. So I'm going to pass that one off. And the last one in that series is the Harvest Homestead. So I'm going to hold this one up and I'll show you the pattern for this. And this one has cows. You know, I'm a farmer. I was born a farmer out in Arizona, and then I married a dairy farmer, a dairy and hog farmer. And so, you know, the farming look is very close to my heart. And this one is beautiful. Now the barns, I haven't continued to tell you this, but let me just show you. This barn is one that I painted, and it is on the CD-ROM in the same two ways. You can make it just exactly to fit the scene, but you can also make it to fit your any scene. You can you can make them larger and smaller. So um, and there's little chickens on there and all kinds of things. So um, it's a really really interesting one. So I'll pass that off. And we're getting close to the end. In fact, I think I have two sweatshirts I want to show you. And these have a landscape look, but. I'm trying to keep something from falling off. <laughs> so um, this one is called Northwoods Family. Uh-oh, piece of fuzz. Oh, well, you know it's real. <laughs> and so these are applique designs. And um, this is a, a mousse that you have an applique. So it'll do an outline. You put the brown fabric down. And then all of the uh, decorative stitch work is done over top of that applique so that you don't have to make it quite so heavy. And I'm going to turn this around. And this, you can do these in four by four all the way up to larger hoops. So um, whatever you've got, it will work. Yes, your stuff will be smaller, but that's okay. You still can do it. So I'm going to pass that one off. And then this one here is called, um, sorry, Salt Box Glen. And so I'm going to hold that up so you can look at it. And then um, I'll have give you a moment to kind of get digest and, and see that from one side to the other. And then I can turn this around in just a moment. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at these. And there's even a little church. So these are beautiful. And of course, they're like the little salt boxes that you buy and put them up above um, the, um, well, the woodwork in your home. And uh, so it's just, and it's got, there's fences and there's all kinds of stuff. And so uh, I just want to tell you a quick story. Um, my husband does all of the actual embroidery and I do this digitizing and I do the, um, you know, the layouts and the finish work and things like that. Well, I told him, I said, we're going to put houses on this shirt. And he said, okay. So we got all the houses on. I said, what would you think if we put some fences? And he said, oh, okay, we'll put the fences on. And then I said, what would you think if we put some lambs on there? And he goes, are you ever going to get done with this sweatshirt? And I said, I can't think so. And then when I asked him, could we put some trees on there? I think he was ready to divorce me. So anyway, but thank goodness he decided to put up with me. And we'll, we're continuing on. And then we've done 46 and a half years. So it's been a long, wonderful relationship. So here is, I believe, the last one. This one is called Grist Mill Glen. And it has some beautiful things on it. And you can actually, you can actually make three different size scenes. You can make smaller one, medium, small, medium, and large. And if you ask me which one this is, I think it's the medium, to be truthful with you. At any rate, lots more beautiful embroideries and uh, lots more beautiful scenery. So I hope you have enjoyed our little um, 
show this afternoon and I hope you'll visit my website and uh, so let me know you can sign up for me on Facebook and also on YouTube and um, you know just you can send us your email if you'd like to be on our list and I'm teaching virtual classes on uh, sewingexpo.com that's s-e-w-i-n-g-e-x-p-o sewingexpo.com at their online classes and tomorrow i have a landscape class and uh so you know you can sign up to uh find out when i'll be teaching so i just want to thank you and i i just appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my little video so thank you have a blessed day bye bye